Greetings and welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. This is the fourth week of the message series from Little Things, Big Things Grow. This week I'm drawing each of the uh, four sessions into what is basically our parish vision statement, which speaks about a vibrant Catholic community fed by the Eucharist, empowered by the Holy Spirit, going out to make disciples. Each of those four themes has been an element of the message series. We've had from the first week the community, and that was the people of uh, the Ascension and uh, the Pentecost, empowered by the Spirit, obviously, the Feast of Pentecost, um, fed by the Eucharist is today. And last week we were called to go out and to make disciples. So there's been a very real sense of this has been part of our story. But today, in a very special way, the Corp Feast of Corpus Christi, or the Body and Blood of Christ, is a reminder to us that once we become part of the community, then we are called to do more than just make disciples. We're called to be nourished by community, nourished by the Eucharist. As we listen to the first reading from the book of Exodus, we hear how Moses says to the people, do you accept the covenant that God has made with you? And the people answer quite vehemently, yes, we do. We accept all that the Lord asks of us. The letter to the Hebrews then takes that sense of what was the casting of the blood onto the, the people, the sense of sacrifice, the sense of ritual, and reminds people that Jesus has gone through that whole process and now is the one true redeeming sacrifice, the one true uh, way to redemption. And in the gospel, of course, we have the story of Mark and the Passover meal, the Last Supper, where Jesus takes the bread, blesses it and breaks it. As a reminder in Luke's gospel, the road to Emmaus, it was when in the breaking of the bread that the disciples uh, were able to recognize him and their hearts were stirred to know. And so there is a sense of saying, when we come to the Eucharist, that should actually be how we feel. But I'm not sure that we do. I haven't spent a lot of time talking about it in my homily, but it's a question that constantly sits in my mind. What happens when we come to Eucharist? Do we really come and are our hearts filled with wonder as we experience the presence of Jesus? I'd like to hope that as you make your journey towards the Feast of Corpus Christi, that you might be aware of just how much this relationship with God that we have in Eucharist is what gives us life. Because fed by the Eucharist, we can go out and make disciples. Take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week on my Wednesday Ramblings.